Um, I want <clears> to <throat> I want to break format of our usual vlog videos for this video because um, I've had something on my mind for a while, uh, for a few months now. Um, well, a lot longer than a few months, but but more about sharing and being vulnerable and being open about these things for the last few months. Um, and my friend Sarah, who I've actually never met in person, we're, we're, we're virtual friends. She is, she does a channel called, uh, death to regrets. And she's only done a couple videos so far, but just recently did a video, uh, that I loved and, and it was really raw and it was really vulnerable and, and, uh, it really inspired me to tackle this subject that frankly, I'm scared to tackle. Um, <laughs> I, I have a lot of fear in doing this video and the topic that I want to talk about is fear and um, you know there's there's this reaction that we're getting a lot from people uh, when they see our videos and they see our adventures and the things that we're doing the choices that we're making choosing to sell our house choosing to purchase a van and build it out or, or purchase a bus and, and build it out and um, you know, approach this full-time travel life or, or, or period of life. People are, are letting us know, uh, you know, when they see our videos and see our posts and all that kind of stuff, they write us or they message us or they comment on those things and they say, oh, this is so cool. We could never do this. And I get what they're saying. I get that they're saying that their life, their current life circumstances won't allow them to do something like this, but the way that it's approached or the way that it's taken oftentimes is it, it looks like it's easy for you to do these things. And maybe we've given the impression that it is easy to do it, but it's not. It's in fact, it's incredibly hard. And the only reason that it's hard is because we make it hard because, or at least I make it hard because I struggle with fear and doubt every single day. The overarching fear is that we're not worthy to live a life that we want to live on our own terms. And it scares the crap out of me to think about that. That for some reason, we are not special enough, we're not <laughs> talented enough, we're not entertaining enough, we're not, uh, we don't have enough grit, or we don't have enough love, or we don't have enough ideas, or we don't have enough money, or we don't have all of these things. Those are my fears, right? I fear that I'm not going to be able to make my business, my businesses work while I'm on the road. Um, from everything from internet to uh, functionality to patience to you know the the bus breaking down or not building a good bus, good enough bus or a good enough home for our family. I fear that we're going to screw our kids up, right? That we, no matter what we do, we're going to make the wrong decisions for them. If we go on the road, they're not going to have friends and they're going to be isolated. But if we don't go, they're not going to know that, you know, we go after our dreams no matter what. We go after the things that we want regardless of, you know, there's always a sacrifice. And so they won't learn that lesson if we just stay in a comfy house with a with a comfy job and all of those sort of things. And so I, there's just all of these fears and these doubts that I deal with on a daily basis that I fight them on the daily. And I used to, I, I used to idolize this idea that there, there was a, there came a time when the fear went away, the fear and the doubt no longer was there. And I think I'm coming to the place in my life where I realize the fear and the doubt never leave. There's only coping mechanisms to quiet the fear, I think. 
And this is just my experience. This is just my personal opinion, all of this. Maybe there are some of you out there that live with absolutely no fear and no doubt about yourself, your career, your art, your lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. If you are one of those, I want to hear from you. I want to know what does that feel like to live day to day with no fear and no doubt. To me, it sounds incredible. <laughs> but I don't know that it's possible. What I do know is possible is that I look at the past. I look at, I look at times in my life when I had the most fear or the things that I had the most fear about. And if they're years ago or month, you know, a, a long enough time ago in the past... It seems that time is the only thing that dissolves fear. It's only looking back years ago and saying, wow, I really didn't have that much to fear. You know, or, or looking back at a certain situation, maybe it's not a certain amount of time, but looking back in the past at a certain situation and saying, oh my gosh, I, I didn't have anything to fear. I didn't have anything to doubt. I should have just, I, I could have just been much more comfortable with myself and who I was in that situation and going forward and pushing forward. But I think the only way we get to that place is if we lean into the fear. And I hate that term because I hear motivational people say it all the time. Lean into the fear, fear, push into the fear, use the fear. But the problem, the problem with that is that on a day-to-day -day basis, the fear sucks. And it's scary. And sometimes it makes me want to vomit. And sometimes it makes me freeze. And sometimes it puts me into a depression. And sometimes it keeps me from making decisions that are best for me, my family, my friends, my relationships. And it just, it, it sucks. And I think we all feel the fear. But only some of us are able to put it into a place that becomes productive. And so what if, and here's another fear, what if I am not the type of person who can put it in the right place to make it productive? I don't know the answers. I don't have any answers, to be honest. I've felt for a long time, and again, this is another thing that I, I am really fearful of telling people, and especially putting it in a video that I'm gonna put on the internet, but you know, what the hell. Um, I have I've felt for a really long time that I was meant to do something amazing. Um, I don't know if everybody feels this because we just don't talk about these things, but I've, I've felt for a really long time that I had some talents and some abilities that would allow me to do something really great in the lives of, of, of a lot of people. And there are some things that I feel like come naturally to me, one of those being public speaking and, and motivating people from a stage in front of a group, controlling that energy and helping people in that setting. And I've always had a dream of being a paid speaker, a paid presenter, somebody who can come into a group and motivate people and change lives and help people feel something that they don't get to feel very often. But I've never taken steps to try because I'm too scared that I will fail. That fear and that doubt that I am not worth it, I'm not worthy of that dream, I'm not worthy of coming into people's lives in a meaningful way. And I don't have the answer. I don't know how to I don't ha know how to know if I am the type of person who if I lean into my fears long enough, if I push into my doubts long enough that I'll be able to use it in a productive way to do the things that I want to do that I feel like I'm here and that I'm meant to do. 
I don't have the answers. But I want to know your thoughts. I would love to know if you have been able to take these fears and these doubts that you feel and use them productively. And how have you done that? And I'm not just talking about stupid, cliche, motivational crap, right? I'm not talking about the social media face that we're all presented with every single day, all day long. I'm talking about real stuff. What did you fear more than anything and you pushed into it, you leaned in it, you used it, and it manifests a dream for you. What is it? I want to know. I want to figure this out for myself. I don't want to live day to day with these fears and these doubts any longer. I will tell you this. I'm not going to let the fears and the doubts stop me. I'm going to push forward. I'm going to lean into them, whatever that means. But man, I don't want to feel like this always. I want to feel differently as I push into the fears and as I lean into the fears and as I make decisions based off what I know is good for me, my family, my friends, my relationships, my dreams, my aspirations rather than play small because it scares me. So what is fear and doubt? What role does it play in your life? Are you willing to be honest about it? Are you willing to ignore the voice inside your head that says, don't talk about that, that's scary, that's dangerous, that shows your cards? If you are, let's talk. I wish I had a better resolution for this video. I wish I had some profound thing that I could say that said, and ta-da, this is how I got rid of my fear and doubt, but I don't. So for now, I'm going to continue and I'm going to push through it and I'm going to do what I know I love. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do the things that I think are going to bring me and those around me that I love the most, the most happiness. But I'd love your suggestions on a different way to operate. If you're experiencing, if you experience something different in your life in relation to fear and doubt, please tell me what that is. I would love to join you. Thanks for watching.